It's not difficult at all. It's easy peasy pumpkin pie. Let me show you how easy it is to make candy yams. What is going on my beautiful YouTube fam? I am going to be showing you guys over the course of the next couple of days how to make some easy peasy Thanksgiving Day sides. It's not that serious. Don't be intimidated. I know some people commented on some of my posts and was like, you know, they're intimidated to make this or that. It's so easy, y'all. So I am going to start off with showing you guys how to make candied yams now the yams they are filthy they are dirty they are a hot mess so you definitely want to have you a nice sharp pillar just like this have you a nice sharp pillar and you definitely want to peel that skin off everyone knows how to peel a potato um, sometimes what I do um, and it makes it a lot easier is I um, parboil my um, I throw my yams in a pot of hot boiling water and let it parboil and then the skin just pulls right off you guys but I'm gonna show you the nice traditional way um, we are going to peel these bad boys and the simple simple ingredients you guys butter okay this is cinnamon, nutmeg, okay, kosher salt, syrup, any kind of syrup, the same syrup that you put on your pancakes and waffles in the morning, syrup, yes, you got it, syrup. And this is vanilla, okay, let's cover that back up. And of course we are going to need some, I don't want to spill it, let me show you guys. We are going to need some brown sugar right here, brown sugar, okay? Light brown, dark brown, it really don't matter. It's really not that serious. So y'all, that is it. And um, a lot of people, sometimes I also alternate and use um, brown sugar or white sugar or sometimes I'll use both. For this recipe, I'm just going to use plain brown sugar. I'm about to show you guys how easy peasy it is to make some candied yams in the oven, baby. Be back. Okay, my YouTube family. So what I would recommend, let me get this out the way. What I would recommend for sure is a sharp potato pillar you're definitely gonna need a sharp potato pillar and then when it's time to slice up your yams you're definitely gonna need a good sharp knife those are two things that I definitely will say that you need so here you go right here I'm just gonna show you I've already peeled my other ones and you just want to take your pillar and that's it be very careful be very careful and just peel peel your potato that's it peel and just keep going all around it until it's all peeled up, okay? And I'll finish doing this one in a bit. Let's get this one out the way. Let's get this back over here. And this is what it looks like, nice and peeled and washed. Nice and peeled and washed off. So let's do this. Let me bring my cutting board up here to you guys. Hope everybody is doing spectacular. I hope my videos help someone out there. Um, I hope it helps someone out there. You know, a lot of people don't know how to properly do, you know, certain things. Everybody doesn't know how to do everything. So um, hopefully this helps um, so you won't be intimidated. But um, here's our beautiful peeled yam these bad boys are tough to cut so like I said you're gonna need a nice sharp kitchen knife be very very careful too when you are cutting your potatoes so I am going to start slicing we always want to make sure our fingers are out the way tuck those fingers back hold your knife like this you never want to hold it like this never hold your knife like this always hold it with a tuck back because you're gonna get more 
handle on your knife, okay? So fingers out the way and let's just start slicing. Got to have a little bit of little bit of elbow grease in it. Little bit of elbow grease. And let's just get us some beautiful slices. I really don't like my um, sweet potatoes super duper duper thick. And see, when it gets down here to the butt, you guys, usually what I do is just get my knife in there and then I take it from the top and push it down. Because you got to be really careful, you guys. Take it from the top. And y'all see that? Hold up. Get these up. I take it from the top and just push it down. That's why you need a sharp knife. And then when it gets like this where it doesn't want to stand by itself, turn that bad boy just like that. Just like that. Boom. And then you start slice, 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 slice. See there? Slice, slice. Boom. So now here's our first potato. And that's just one potato. That makes a lot. So I cut up four potatoes, you guys. This can probably, this can definitely feed four, oh man, four potatoes, at least six to eight people. This is gonna be at least, at least six to eight people. So I really don't like big old round cuts of sweet potato like this. I like the little, I like to cut them a little smaller. So what I'm gonna do is line these up. Just like this, just like this, you guys. And I'm gonna cut them like that. Okay, hold up. Get that one out the way. I'm gonna cut them like that. And you know what? I could even, I'm not even gonna cut them again. Cause I was gonna cut them like this again, y'all. But I'm good. I'm gonna keep them like this. So see how I just halved them? I just halved them. Boom, throw those in my pot. Easy, easy, easy. Boom. So what I'm gonna do, you guys, is finish, I'm gonna finish halfing these up, okay? I'm gonna finish cutting my potatoes, halfing them up, and then I will be back to show you guys how to layer and season these bad boys. Okie dokie, be back. All right, uh, my YouTube fam, now it is time for the easy and the fun part okay so we are going to start with a layer of our nice sliced washed potatoes we're gonna start with we gonna layer the bottom just like that and we probably only have enough to do we probably just gonna do two layers while I'm acting like we got a lot of layers okay so lay some down at the bottom all right just like that right so now you guys let's sprinkle on our brown sugar um y'all know i just I, i'd always guesstimate i never have measurements but i'm gonna try to give you guys measurements um for this recipe so i'm going down with brown sugar on this layer and i would say i'm going in with about a cup okay and like i said you can use brown sugar and granulated um regular white sugar you know do you um but i think brown sugar will be enough and um you gotta think sweet potatoes is already naturally sweet so you should be good just using brown sugar okay but if you did want to use brown sugar if you like super duper duper sweet yams go for it um so that's like a cup of brown sugar and if you want to use the white sugar go in with equal parts if you want or maybe a half a cup of white sugar right on this part so now I'm gonna go in with some salt this is kosher salt I'm going in with about a sprinkle which is probably about a tablespoon okay just like that we are gonna go in with some nutmeg a little nutmeg goes a long way. That's probably a teaspoon of nutmeg. Okay, let's go in with some cinnamon. A little cinnamon also goes a long way. Okay, so let's go in with equal parts of cinnamon. That's probably a little over. That's probably about a little over a teaspoon. That sprinkle. Okay. 
let's go in with our vanilla let's just sprinkle that vanilla down uh oh making a mess sprinkle down now I like a, I like a lot of vanilla in my um in my yams I love the flavor vanilla gives so let's go in okay that's probably like one fourth uh, probably about one fourth cup maybe don't quote me now y'all and here's our syrup yes I love using syrup on my yams oh my goodness so that's probably about one fourth cup if I had to also guess we are going down with some unsalted butter okay unsalted butter easy y'all easy unsalted butter okay just like that now we are going to layer again we are going to layer again and a lot of people like to cook their um, candy yams on the stove top in a pot definitely feel free to do so a lot of people feel as though your yams won't candy properly if you cook them in the oven um, I beg to differ mine comes out nice and sticky and delicious so I think it'll be just fine so let's do that. Let me get my dishes out the way. All right, so now we got our second layer here. And what we are going to do, you guys, is just repeat the process. We are building flavors. So let's go in with our brown sugar. Okay, right on the top, brown sugar. And remember, these potatoes are going to make their own juice, but I am going to sprinkle just a smidget of water in there. So when I cover it with the foil, they'll steam nice and good. So there we go. We went in with about a cup, probably about a cup of brown sugar again. Because once they get in the oven, we don't want to touch them. We just want them to bake and cook as is in, the, in this layer. Okay, so what did we do next, y'all? Salt sprinkle of salt just repeating the process salt a little bit of salt okay nutmeg little little because remember we put some at the bottom remember a little goes a long doggone way too y'all cinnamon sprinkle sprinkle yes ma'am easy easy side dishes if you don't feel like using that canned stuff, you want to impress your family, go ahead and make some easy, easy peasy tea style yams. There go our vanilla. I'm going to run over here and get some more vanilla, y'all, because I like a lot of vanilla. Okay, we're going in with our vanilla. And I am using imitation vanilla. Um, I'm pretty sure using the real deal Holyfield vanilla will probably take the flavor up several notches, but I'm so satisfied with my imitation vanilla. It tastes great with that. Okay, here's our syrup. Mmm, that syrup just gives it a bomb taste. I'm telling y'all, don't sleep. Okay, let me get a little bit of water. And I have my oven on, um, this is water you guys, just a little bit of water. I have my oven on 350. Okay. Now let's go in with the rest of our butter. I end up using a whole stick of butter. Just place it all around there, just like that. And you guys, that's it. That's it. Easy. What? Easy easy i'm gonna even going i'm going with a little bit more brown sugar at the top just a little bit right over that butter just a little bit y'all easy put this cover this with foil okay cover it with foil put it in the oven on 350 let it cook until your Potatoes are fork tender. What is fork tender? When you stick a fork in them bad boys and the fork just goes right through them bad boys. It's gonna be nice and caramelized at the top, a little brown at the top. 
matter of fact, y'all, you put put them in the oven on 350 and cook them until they're fork tender and then cook them again um, with the foil off for like an additional like 10, 15 minutes just so I could get that browning at the top, okay? So I'll show you guys what it looks like after the cooking process. Be back. All right, my YouTube fam. I told y'all. Didn't I tell y'all them yams was going to make its own uh, nice sticky juice? Didn't I tell you? Look at these yams. We layered them. We left them alone. We cooked them on low and slow for about 45 minutes to an hour. They are done. They are tender, you guys. Look at these. Look at those. Look at these candy yams. And listen, as your... Here's our juice. And as your... Um, as your uh, juice cools, you guys, it is going to get even thicker. That syrup is going to thicken up even more as it cools. You can see the cinnamon on there, that butter, that is just, it's wonderful. The pieces are not too big, the pieces are not too small, it is just perfect. Not too sweet flavorful and I like um like I was telling you guys earlier I like chunks of you know I like my potatoes cut in chunks but not super big chunks but one thing that I don't like and a lot of people listen I'm not knocking you but a lot of people like their um they like it like mashed like almost like a mashed potato like I like to actually Kind of bite into a you know a um y'all know what i'm trying to say i don't like them smashed you know so this is like the perfect size for me and my family we love them this size guys listen easiest recipe ever they are so good so bomb listen y'all try it out i hope this helps someone i appreciate you guys so much for tuning in as always, you guys, thank you so much, and everybody stay safe and stay blessed. See you in the next video.